guys welcome to crib oh sorry welcome to chrissy's paint and craft parties this is technique tuesday i am super super sorry i was um busy doing something else and i lost track of time of course but i'm here and if you're ready let's get started all right i'm gonna go ahead and put you up here and i'm gonna show you what we're doing today we are going to be doing some resin work but before we get started i want to talk about some safety issues here. Oh, come on, go. I have some safety first, safety first, okay? Since we're gonna be using um, resin, sorry guys, I'm only gonna be here on for 30 minutes because I'm going to be doing only one of these. I think I'm gonna do this one, these little earrings. So I'm making earrings today. I'm gonna make resin earrings today, but one safety issue that I need to address is Wear gloves, my friends. Wear gloves. So I'm gonna grab my gloves from over here. Oh, what was that? Just fell. So I'm just gonna grab two pairs of gloves. I'm gonna have two pairs of gloves on me because resin is very, very toxic in some ways. Um, it can irritate your eyes, it can irritate your skin. So I like to wear gloves. Um, I don't usually get it on myself, but it can be very, very um, easily, you can easily get it on your hands if you're not careful. Then I need to get a stirring stick. So I'm gonna grab my stirring sticks. You can use popsicle sticks. Um, you can use popsicle sticks, you can use, um, about almost anything that has anything that you need for to use to stir because um, these are these are pretty thick and you can stir them with extra gloves just in case um, when I'm doing this I don't like to touch anything sometimes I'll even wear a mask if it's too if it's too much now I always say read the directions before you mix anything so i have part a here um mix equally amounts of part a side and part b side in the ratio of one to one so i'm going to do two if i do two tablespoons let's just say two tablespoons of this i'm going to do two tablespoons of part b okay um you're going to slowly mix for five minutes the resin should be cl completely clear no swirls or situations, which is like bubbles or anything like that. Ensure to scrape the side walls and bottom of the mixture container. Pour merely after mixing. Ideal mixing application temperature is between whatever, 75 to 80 degrees. Self levels and a, a half, a one, a, a one eighth inch, pourable up to one fourth um, in at one time. I don't know, whatever. Um, <laughs> So what I like to do is I don't really, cause I'm using these, I'm using these little liquid ones and I wasn't these pigments. So I add pigments to it. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a few pigments here and I wanted to do um, purple. I wanna do some purple pigment with, um, With a little bit of rosy, so I'm gonna use rosy. And then maybe like a green, like a turquoise green. This is a bright green or sapphire. No, sapphire is a blue. So hold on. Let's do like a bright green, right? Let's do some of that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put glitter in mine. I love glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. I love glitter. It's so fun. Um, so I'm going to put glitter in mine and either I'm going to put just regular glitter or I'm going to put, um, probably some glitter that I have some loose leaf glitter. I have to remember what I did with it because I don't remember what box I put them in. <sighs> you know what? They're down here. Oh, here we go. Found it. <laughs> I was trying to figure out, oh, 
Right. Okay. So you need petroleum jelly. And I'm about to show you why you need petroleum jelly here in a minute. This is something I do because I know that it could potentially. Oh, and then I found some more stirring sticks. Found more stirring sticks. And then I have this little cup. It's a half cup. I usually do a half cup each, but because these are smaller, I'm just going to eye it for a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let me go grab I have some wipes. So wipes, you want wipes. I'm going to grab a few. Now, I already have some here, so I might just use this instead. Um, so I already have some open. But then I was looking at this, and it's kind of... It, kind of like turned a different color so I don't think this is any good I'm not going to use it because it looks really 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 gross but this one's fine so I'm going to use this the new bottle instead because I'm afraid to even use that stuff it does not look too good um now if I can just find my glitter and I think it's in a box somewhere Sorry guys, I thought I was prepared to do this, but I'm not. I was trying to think of like where I put my glitter stuff. I have so much glitter that now I don't know where I did what I did with them. But where I put them. I was thinking, well maybe it's in this bag. So just hang tight. Talk among yourselves. Oh. Oh, this is the stuff that I need to use for that other thing. So, I was thinking about putting maybe some of these in there. These little mosaic accents in there. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to do glitter. Um, that's a different project that I have going on. I'm going to use the mosaic accents. I'm going to use these on a piece that I'm going to do... Um, Later on next week, I'm going to use these on a canvas. So super excited about that. I can't wait to try that out. And then I'm going to cover it with like a clear coat or whatever. Um, I'm just trying to find my glitter. So once I find my glitter, we can get started. But let me see. Do I have... If not, if you don't have glitter... Oh, you know what? I have like little powder stuff, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to start with this first, okay? All right, so what we're going to do with the um, petroleum jelly is that we're going to just literally take... This is just so that it doesn't stick to your, your, um, your mold, okay? So I'm just going to take a little bit of the jelly out of my finger, and we're just going to kind of come in here and just... Do some round mouths here with this. I'm only going to use this one right here. I'm just getting around the sides here and on the top. That way it can come out when it's ready to come out. And we're not like struggling trying to pull it out of there. And then I'm going to do this one too. So we're just going to... Not too much. You don't need a lot. Okay. You don't need a lot. And then I'm going to do this one over here. And I like to mix my colors. I like to have mixed colors. So I'm going to mix my colors differently this time. Okay. And then I just use a baby wipe. I kind of just use a baby wipe to like get it off. And if you're asking, if you're asking me any questions like what I'm doing, if you're, if you're joining me and you're like super confused as what I'm doing, I am making resin. I'm playing with resin today. Um, I'm making resin earrings today. Oh. <laughs> I'm on the wrong one. So I'm making earrings today. I'm going to be um, doing different colors. I've already put the Vaseline. I use Vaseline. So if you're joining, you're like, what in the heck is she doing? I am making resin earrings today. Um, and I'm going to be, I just want to like make sure I can see your comments. Okay. I'm going to be doing this with 
the craft smart stuff so the stuff that you buy from michael's i'm just going to do it with this stuff um so this is part a and this is part b and you want you want a one-to-one -one ratio when you're doing this okay so you want to make sure you have enough of part a and enough of part b when you're doing this um, and then i'm going to color them with different colors i have um bright green a purple or not purple sorry this is a rosy and then this is um this is just a purple okay and i like to mix my colors but then i like to take my little cups and just have individual ones and then kind of mix them the way that i want um so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to make equal parts in each of these cups make different colors so i'm going to make different colors usually i use a, a half a cup when i'm doing bigger items but because these are smaller items, I'm going to grab a, um, I'm actually going to grab a tablespoon that I don't ever use. That way it doesn't get corroded or whatnot. So let me grab a tablespoon. Okay, well, all I have is a half tablespoon. So what we'll do is we'll just make, we'll do two half tablespoons because I want to have equal parts. So I'm just going to use this half tablespoon and then I'm going to pour two, two of them in there. So I'm going to start with my part A. Oops. I dropped all my stuff. So I'm going to start with my first cup. I'm just going to take my part A and I'm going to do two of these. Now you have to do this really quickly or it will set in. And then you're in trouble. <laughs> so then part, part B, this is what makes it, I guess like makes this the hardening stuff. Oop, that's too much. See, I end up pouring too much. And then I just take a baby wipe and I kind of wipe this up because it does get messy. All right, and then you're gonna take this, and hopefully I didn't mess this one up. I probably did, because I poured too much in there. Um, it's sometimes really hard to tell, so you have to kind of gauge it a little bit. I kind of eye it sometimes. Um, I think it'll be fine. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and put a couple drops of the pink so I'm gonna put oh it's not coming out oh no why is it not coming out uh, okay well not sure why but I'm gonna go ahead and put like a few drops of that and not the plastic oh no <laughs> oh if everything could go wrong it probably would today woo okay so then I'm just gonna add the pink in there as you can see I'm just stirring it up until it's all together and it's where you can just see and sometimes I I will have to add a little bit more pink to it because I want it to be vibrant pink I don't want it to be like that gel looking pink and you can also add glitter if you wanted to add glitter um, that's totally fine I think I will actually add a little bit of glitter to this let's see what do I have and I have to be really quick with this it's like super quick you gotta get you gotta get everything in there that you need so I suggest having everything on hand don't be like me and not have everything on hand um, because it does set up quick and you have to make sure it doesn't like um, clump up or anything like that well I'm not seeing my glitter so maybe I don't know where my glitter is it's in a it's in a container somewhere and I never could find it um yeah about that oh you know what okay is it over here I have some right here okay we're just gonna put a little bit of glitter in that and I'm just using like holographic glitter just a little bit in there they're kind of give it a little shine to it all right so once it's like 
you know, you can tell that it's clump, it's all together. And you can tell like it's got glitter in it. Okay. I'm just gonna, you're gonna actually set your thing aside. And you can use a spatula or you can use whatever works for you. Um, but you wanna just make sure, this is why I have the baby wipes. You just wanna make sure that everything gets cleaned up right because it can get really messy. So anytime I have um, stuff leaking, I always take a baby wipe and wipe it down. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pour the first one in. I'm gonna do pink with, um, I'm gonna put the caps back on here. I'm gonna do pink with the, the um, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna do pink with these two right here and we're just gonna pour in. Okay, so we're just pouring in. You wanna pour in and make sure it covers it. Okay. You wanna make sure it covers it all. Sometimes you might have to put a little bit more in there, which is fine. Don't overflow it. And you can actually take your little rod thing or you can take a, um, you can take a popsicle stick. This one needed a little bit more. So you want it to cover everything that's in there and make sure it doesn't go over the line. But you want that little, there's a little like, a little tab over here, like a little circle thing right there. So I want that covered because that's gonna be my little hole that I'm gonna have for the earring to put the little loopy thing in there. Uh, yeah, and I call it a loopy thing. It's, Totally fine. So there's one set. There's one set. I'm gonna let, and you let it sit until it hardens. Okay. Now I have to get my stuff ready. Let before I do this, let me go ahead and grab my stuff that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use green now. I'm gonna use green. I'm just using these little liquid little things here. Okay. So I'm gonna use green. And then I think I'm gonna do a swirl of purple. So let's do a swirl of purple. And I'm trying, I'm gonna test out these. Oh yeah, really test it out. Did it pour it all the way out? Okay, yeah. Well, now I see why um, I probably should have just taken the top off. Okay, so we're just gonna take the top off because this little squeezer bottle does not work like it should. It just literally squeezed all the way out. I've never used these before. I've always used the powder stuff. So this is the first time me ever, ever using this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with part A, okay? Oh, before we do this, let's go ahead and scoop this out and clean it, okay? You wanna always have a clean surface when you're working with this. All right. And I'm just gonna pour slowly There's one. And there's two. Now this one pours out a lot faster than usual. So like again, use my white baby wipes to get rid of that. This one pours out a lot slow, a lot heavier or faster. So I'm just I'm just gonna go as slow as I can. One and two. Okay, that was better than the last one that I did, which is great, okay? All right, now we're going to take another stick and we're gonna mix it until all the bubbles and everything is gone. We're gonna put our, oops, we're gonna put our green in here and we're gonna put our purple in here. And then we're gonna swirl it around. Ooh, that's giving me like a really cool vibe to it. Ooh, it's like a deep green. And then put some glitter in there. All right. Make sure everything gets stirred up. 
you want to stir vigorously with this because you don't want it to like start settling in. If it starts looking like it's going to get clumpy, stir it. You don't want bubbles either. So make sure you don't have any bubbles and you're not creating any bubble mischief here. Okay. I'm liking this color, by the way. All right, let's go ahead and let's do that one with the green, the green one, the little. Um, so we're just going to pour slowly as much as we can. And then we're going to pour over our little earring here, our little mold. All right. There we go. Now it's the mold. There we go. It's in there. And then we're going to do this one over here slowly at first and then just make sure it covers everything. You want to make sure it covers all the crevices. And if it doesn't, then you could pour a little bit more in there and then it should cover everything. All right, there we go. There's that one. That one ends up pretty color, by the way. That one came out really pretty. Okay. Um, now, Ooh, I'm itching my nose. I just want to do purple. So now I just want to do purple. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with part A. Right? Ooh, I spilled a little bit too much on that one. It's okay. I'll have to clean that mess up. And then part B. There we go. Oh, I made a mess on that one too. I'm just making all sorts of messes today, right? All right. And then you want to just kind of clean this up because this will harden on it and then it'll, it'll like really, really be gross. Okay. Okay. And this part. There we go. Okay. All right. And then you just put the caps back on, make sure they're sealed. And then you want to go ahead and Let's do our purple. So we're just going to put a purple in here. Okay. Oh no, I just spilled my green. Oh man. That's what happens when you don't put the top back on it, right? Oh no. Okay. I'll put the top back on the green. And I'm just going to clean that up with a rag. Okay. Wow, look at this purple. It's like a deep purple. You want to stir vigorously. Okay. I'm going to put a little more purple in there. There we go. And then I'm going to put the glitter in there too. What I like about resin, you can do so many things with it, right? I'm literally putting like, I'm literally putting paint glitter in here and it still does the job. All right. Oh, look at the purple. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. All right. So now that it's kind of gummy-ish going on here, make sure there's no bubbles. Doesn't seem like there's any bubbles. So we're going to go ahead and start pouring. Oh, there's bubbles. Okay. Well, make sure there's no bubbles. We're going to start pouring into this one right here. And yeah, I made a huge... Oops, I'm about to do it again. Make sure you put your tops on your stuff or it'll get like really, really messy for you. It is a very messy, messy playing with this. Um, I do have to admit that. All right, so we're gonna just come in here and, okay, so since this is like not, <laughs> I wanted it to. Uh, no. I think it's supposed to just go around and you're supposed to like with this one the middle piece is supposed to oh then again I don't know maybe not <laughs> this is so fun though guys like if you ever get a chance to do some resin work this is so fun um and it's so totally worth it I probably messed up this last one but you know what I have to say, I love trying new things, and if you're into trying new things, this might be fun for you, right? I'm always into, like, trying new things. 
All right, so I feel like this got leveled weird. So we're just gonna kind of come in here and unlevel this. <laughs> okay, well, now it's sticking to it, so it doesn't matter at this point. Okay, so now you're just gonna wanna let it sit. I'm gonna pour a little bit more. I'm just gonna try to keep. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't harden all the way like that. But if it does, it does. I think I'm supposed to pour around all around this. Hopefully. I did it right. If not, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna be honest. Really is not a big deal. Okay. So I've made a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna clean up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna clean up my mess. And there you have it resin fun i hope you guys enjoy this this is technique tuesday um i think next week i'll do a tip i'll do some types of tips um so i'm super excited to see how these come out but i'm gonna go set these somewhere else so when you're when you're like moving it around just be very careful because you want it to you don't want it to spill over so you're gonna want to put it somewhere which I'm going to put it over here. You're going to want to put it somewhere where it'll dry. And it takes 24 hours for it to dry before you, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, before you can take them out of the mold. So I'm actually going to move it over here and I'm trying to not to move it too much. So try not to move it too much, but you need to have it on a leveled plane. Like you need to have it on a leveled place. So that's perfect because it's leveled over there. Um, make sure it's on the level, it's leveled out and it's not going to unlevel itself when you put it down. Okay. Um, so there you have it. I hope that was fun. I'm not going to take my gloves off yet. I'm actually going to try to pour this back in there, which I'm probably going to end up feeling pretty miserably about or not. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed um, quick tip Tuesday or technique Tuesday. This is a technique that I mean, it's not perfect, but it's fun and I do Like doing resin. Um, I can show you a few things that I've already done before Which I mean, this is my first time ever doing something like this But I bought these little cool coasters. So like I did this Long time ago. I did this like a year ago and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try resin out but it does harden and these are supposed to be coasters, by the way. They're not really coasters. I was just, I was just experimenting, and that's how they came out. Um, it's not my best work, which is fine because I was just having fun. But uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with it. I took bottle caps, and I put bottle caps on uh, in this one. I made it into um, a coaster, which I thought these were cool. I love these bottle caps. These were cool bottle caps. Um, and I made a pattern and I just went with it. So you could do a lot of things with um, resin. This was like the first time I ever, ever did something with resin. And I I just played around with it. They're like little bottle caps. I think you could, like you could still see what it says in there. It's pretty cool. But um, yeah, just play around with some resin. Have some fun. And that's kind of what we did today. Um, whoops, I dropped all that. Okay. So yeah. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. If you are watching or you do want to watch the re you just go ahead and watch the replay and um yeah, have fun with the have fun with it. So alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pop off on here and go ahead and clean up. And yeah, see y'all next. Um actually, I might actually go live on Thursday, maybe, and do a painting. So um I hope you'll join me on Thursday. Probably at 12 o'clock, maybe. Maybe 12 or maybe 1.30 or 11. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I'll see y'all later. Bye.